Now, what they did was to plunder a database of 37 million worldwide companies and investors. Yep, these things do exist, and it's called the Orbis database. And from this, they extracted information on 43,000 multinational corporations. They then looked at the patterns of ownership among them and covered over 1 million ownership ties. They then linked this to size in terms of operating revenue and calculated a network of control. Control, as we've seen, over a sizable chunk of world trade and production. They managed to isolate a core group of 737 companies that controlled 80% of the revenues of the network. And within that group, they located a core of 147 corporations that controlled 40% of the network and that was almost entirely exclusively controlled and owned within itself. This degree of concentration far exceeds the concentrations in income and wealth that have captured the headline in the debate on Thomas Piketty's capital in the 21st century. We can be even more specific about the composition of this elite. Within the top 50, only five did not come from the banking and financial sectors. 